Hi, this is Gordon with Matt from PC Magazine. I'm here to show you two really cool systems that I think sort of show you the dilemma that enthusiast uh, PC builders have right now. This is the iBuy Power Paladin XLC. This is the uh, Falcon Northwest Mach 5 machine. We reviewed this already in the last issue. This one's in the issue just about to come out in the stands. This review is actually on the website. But what this is really about is two different philosophies here. I'm going to crack these cases open if I can. So, what you basically have is Sandy Bridge versus Gulftown. This is a 980X Intel 3.3 gigahertz uh, 980X 6 core Gulftown. That is Intel's new Core i7 2600K. $300 CPU, $1000 CPU. This system though is $3500. The Falcon, $4300. So it's about $800 more. A lot of that's because this is a very expensive case that Falcon uses, and they also use this uh, extremely cool OCZ Revo X2 drive, which is four small SSDs in RAID 0. Uh, obviously, that's going to push the price up. But really, uh, what I'm trying to show you here is what happens when you have a $300 CPU and a $1,000 CPU. So in this $300 CPU, even though this machine is more expensive, Falcon gives you two five, uh, G GeForce GTX 580X cards. 580 cards. I by power on the other hand decides that well we've given you this fantastic CPU for a thousand dollars let's uh, give you less in the graphics department this has two ATI 6870 cards um, good card but actually a budget card the 580s of course are recognized currently as the king of the single GPU right now and actually probably pretty much the singular uh, fastest GPU out there so Falcon is able to take the $700 that you don't spend on the CPU and give you the 580s. Abba Power, on the other hand, is able to give you a 6-core versus a 4-core machine, but of course you get crossfire with two budget cards, semi-budget cards. Uh, the end result in benchmarks, uh, I'll have to mention the clock speeds. The Falcon is clocked up at 4.7 gigahertz, which is probably uh, with Sandy Bridge uh, entry level for overclocking Sandy Bridge, I think some people are getting up near 5, 4.9. This is uh, 4.2 gigahertz overclock on the uh, on the uh, Gulf Town, so it's uh, 4.2 gigahertz versus 4.7. In the actual benchmarks, the Falcon will of course win everything in graphics, and surprisingly, as fast as Gulf Town is, the Falcon will actually do pretty well in a lot of multi-threaded benchmarks. Of course, um, we don't run benchmarks that can push all 12 threads that a Gulf Town can give you, but still, I was surprised that the Gulf Town system didn't totally walk away from the Falcon in some of the tests. Uh, the, the, the Gulf Town system is basically only 5% faster in the Falcon in Sony Vegas, which is pretty multi-threaded. I really thought Gulf Town would have had a bigger advantage. But I thought this was a great opportunity because, you know, it. Uh, a lot of people are thinking on their next machine, should you build Sandy Bridge, or should you build Gulf Town? You clearly get a good, a good idea of what you give up if you're going for the you know expensive processor versus the cheaper processor. You get seemingly every bit as much uh, CPU performance out of the Sandy Bridge chip, but you give up a lot in your graphics card. So obviously, Abbott Power and Falcon can build the different configurations. I thought this was just a great way to contrast the, the performance differences between these two chips. So um, anyway, that's. Uh, it's really up to you was what to buy. I really can't make that decision for you. Uh, if I had to call it though, I'd say the advantage really goes to Sandy Bridge because it's hard to justify getting a six core, you know, thousand dollar CPU, which is I think an issue that Intel is having. I mean, I'm hearing discussions that Intel is thinking, well, maybe we shouldn't even be continuing with, you know, LJ 2011, which is going to replace 1366 and just simply go to a single socket, which of course would be Sandy Bridge. And I think for a lot of people, that probably makes sense. Anyway, this is Gordon with Maps from PC Magazine. Hope we, we've given you some information to help you build your next system. Thanks.